the UN reports on food waste suggest that you know one third of all food produced is wasted. In India, you know, we estimate that pre-consumer food waste, which is food waste that is generated before it even arrives to our plates, is almost 115 million metric tons. Government of India estimates uh, are also in the same ballpark. This breaks down in four parts. Farm and agricultural, which is the by volume the highest, which is the food that is wasted during cultivation, during harvest, imperfect produce, so food that does not look good in nature, uh, which does not meet the quality aspects gets rejected. Then you have the processing, uh, which is the packaged food and retail segment, which is food that is rejected during production, excess cooking, undercooking, you know, excess raw material, uh, all that stuff. Um, then you have food that is rejected during um, meat processing. You know, that is a that is a slightly se separate segment because it's a, it requires a certain type of processing uh, in place. And then you have horeca. Horeca is you know, hospitality and retail. So typically food that is on the, you know, that is rejected during cooking, rejected uh, when people order excess on the plate. So catering waste essentially. All of these four categories combined is about 115 million metric ton of food that is wasted. So we decided to pivot and focus quite dedicatedly on food waste and that has been the journey of wasting in the last four years. By volume, if you look at any other category of waste, food waste is the largest. Uh, whether you compare it to plastics, you know, electronics, hazardous, any, any category. And this is also one of the least solved segments. Uh, typically, most solutions that have existed around food waste have all been very capex heavy investments. So that's why some of these technologies have not become really mainstream as much as we would like. Which is because food producers want a very plug and play system. You know, they, they want uh, a delivery kind of system where literally they place, they put a request, somebody comes and picks it up. And that is what we are able to provide. And, and we see that this is a, uh, a very, very big opportunity once we look at it from that approach. And uh, this is what keeps us very excited. What Wasteling does by upcycling food waste is that we give it a shape and form where it can be fed to animals uh, safely. It can provide a valuable nutrition to them. In doing so, it has two benefits to the environment. One is of course that by each ton of food waste that we route into animal feed, we are preventing that from going to the landfill. So we are saving, you know, all the emissions that come with the landfill. Second, each ton of food waste that we upcycle for animal feed is each ton of grain less needed to feed the animal. So you have twofold environmental benefits by bringing all this food waste to feed animals, which then kind of you know comes back into the into the food chain. Working in food waste, there was no manuscript, you know, there was no already done that you could just take and implement. There's a lot of things we had to figure out. You know, back in the day, we were only working with one brand, and we had a certain certain set of products but as we grew we constantly added new products so we had to really up our uh, ability in R&D and processing which is what we learned to do over the last uh, couple of years and in a way also educate food producers because food producers while they wanted to go ahead and, and upcycle food waste many a times they needed support they needed guidance on how to do so so I think all these were all hindrances that, that came, that, that we learned, and that, that's probably one of the reasons why we have a strong business today. We are in Sonipat, in, in the state of Haryana in, in India. We are in one of India's largest food waste management facility. This is a 50,000 square feet facility. It is a, installed capacity is about uh, 2,000 metric tons a month of upcycling available here today. So here we are processing like residuals and surplus from many food uh, producers from in Delhi NCR region uh, or in like 200 to 250 kilometers uh, around the unit. 
so we collect various types of uh, you know food items like like breads biscuits cookies snacks um, we collect uh, noodles dosa batter very diverse range of products that we bring into the unit which is processed using the machinery uh, that we have so this unit is is designed to handle about uh, 60 metric tons per day of food fresh food coming in and uh, processed more than 95 98% into into feed the balance 2% is typically uh, rejects like plastics or packaging material which comes out but in terms of food upcycle we are able to upcycle almost 100% of the food that we pick into feed so we are a b2b company that is we source surplus and reject food from food manufacturers and we are bringing it to our facilities which we process into feed ingredients so we do not manufacture finished feed which are then sold to feed manufacturers what we provide is one of the ingredients that they add to that feed the unit is divided into three core production process you know you have arrival where you know we are checking the food for certain quality parameters it is offloaded you know it is inventorized then it is depacked so there is a there is a process through which the food is automatically removed from its packaging uh, post depacking it is it goes into a mixing process where we prepare feed formulations depending on what type type of animal species we are targeting that feed formulation then is grinded bagged and, and dispatched if food is wet you know it is dry during the process as well so the facility can take care both wet food as well as dry food we have started shifed in 2011 in 2018 hame pata chala tha about the eco mix hum gaye meeting kari humne dekha material was good the quality was not an uh, not was not bad kisi ke 5 din nikle the kisi ke 10 din nikle the isse upar kuch nahi tha तो हमने वो मटेरियल उनसे प्रिक्योर करा और हम अपने फीड में डालना शुरू करा एंड वी हैव टेकन एन ट्रायल ओवर हेयर ओनली इन आर फार्म मेरे पास नियर अबाउट 200 टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी कैटल्स हैं तो हमने अपने फार्म पर ट्रायल करा जब हमने उसको फीड को अपने फीड में कुछ परसेंटेज डाला 20 परसेंट के आसपास डाला 10 बीस परसेंट के आसपास और देखा तो क्वालिटी एकदम इंक्रीज हो गया मिल्क की प्रोडक्शन इंक्रीज होगी तो हमें इको फीड के बने पता चल गया देन वी स्टार्टेड यूजिंग दिस मटेरियल फ्रॉम देम यू नो व्हेन वी गो टू बाय वेजिटेबल्स इन द सुपरमार्केट ओवर ओवर इन बाय अ लोकल मंडी इट डज नॉट कम विद एन एक्सपायरेशन डेट यू नो बट एज ह्यूमंस वी हैव अ सेंस कि यू नो दिस पर्टिकुलर वेजिटेबल इज इज लुकिंग गुड एंड देयरफॉर इज गोइंग टू बी सेफ टू ईट the typical you know microbial analytical parameter that decides whether the food is good or not bad is is fundamentally the 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 fungal growth or rather the the aflatoxin growth in food i think as humans we have an innate sense of what is good and what is bad to consume however when that activity is done on a manufacturing scale there are certain quality parameters that are just beyond safety which are brought in it can be around uh, taste it can be around you know the crunchiness of the food it can be around the juiciness of the food which is where the dates or expirations come in so food that may be beyond date of expiration may not be unsafe it may not have toxicity it may not it might as well safe to eat but it just is is designed structurally uh, you know in a way that it allows a consumer to know that if i am buying it beyond a date i may not get the promised parameters in terms of the crunchiness and the quality that the brand is promising so that is really you know the, the best before dates on food actually lead to more food waste and that is a this is a documented fact so the food that we choose to use for feed of course has to be safe for feed use uh we do not choose to bring in any food that is not safe for the animal it so happens that because we work with food producers who are manufacturing food for humans they already have all the best parameters in place so they just have to extend some of those parameters to their food scraps as well and we are able to work with that quality of the material we work primarily today on post cultivation of the food the food that is brought in for the uh, uh, manufacturing 
and the rejects that happen during manufacturing and the supply chain. All the food which is good, if, it, if it, that is ending up, uh, if it, that is not used and there is no process in the country to bring the food back for any kind of use, it will either go to a landfills or it will go to a you know incineration plant. And both of them are negative outcomes for, for, for the country and for the planet. But instead, if there is a process which can be created, which can systematically bring in good food, it can incentivize uh, the generators of, of food waste, then you can actually create a very beautiful process that brings in benefits to the environment in three core ways. One, of course, you are you're diverting waste away from landfills, right? Then you are diverting waste to feed animals. And by bringing in the best quality of food that humans eat to, to bring in to feed animals, allows them to have good nutrition. At the same time, is able to replace the grains which again needs to be cultivated. You, so again, you need to have you know farms, you need to have uh, land, water, labor to grow the ton of grains to, to feed the animal. That ton of grain you can then replace with food that is already produced. So you're not only saving uh, by diverting food away from landfills, you're also saving by avoiding to grow the additional grain and diverting that grain for other use. So we raised about 50 lakhs from Department of Science and Technology under the Nidhi scheme uh, via Indigram Labs Foundation. I think having access to that DST funding allowed us to create some pilot processes. It allowed us to buy some pilot equipment that we wanted to run and perfect the design of, of what we wanted to build. So for us to reach to this stage of 50,000 square feet plant, uh, we needed to conduct certain trial processes, we needed to conduct certain, uh, you know, utilization in feed to know how it works. All that was possible with the DST funding that we got last year. We are quite proud to say that we are already one of the largest local employers uh, wherever we operate. You know, at scale, we'll be obviously be generating employment for a wide variety of people from uh, you know, logistics people like you know, truck drivers and uh, the support staff associated with that. Uh, on on our side, you know, you know, labor staff that will be working that will be coming from villages, uh, and then also like at the end, we are benefiting the farmers, right? So every ton of feed that we give to them, which is of good quality and is is able to save them money, is is one more happy farmer, one more wealthier farmer. It's an amazing business model that has great benefits to the society, both environmental as well as social. So everybody is very motivated on the team. You know, we all feel that we are doing the most important work of our lives. And for me personally, being able to create impact on such a large scale is, is very, very motivating.